Hey, what's up guys? It's Vanessa from The Life of Avex, and today I'm gonna to give you a quick tutorial on how I set up my canvas for Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Photoshop, and I'm gonna click Create New. Okay, so it'll take you to this window here, and you can just go ahead and ignore all of these. These are just past uh, canvases that I've used for other projects, but today I'm gonna to focus on two different types of canvases. One is going to be for print and the other one is going to be for Instagram only. So let's start with the Instagram one. Okay, so I'm going to name this Instagram. Instagram. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to go over is our size and why we use that four by five ratio. So if you notice on our Instagram, we always have the vertical format for our images. And the reason why we do that is just because we feel that when you are browsing Instagram, uh, you have this amount of space that is visible on your phone and you want to really use all of that as much as you can. And the reason why is just because it's more, it's more captivating to the viewer versus if you're using something that's like horizontal or even a square, you're minimizing the amount of space that this person has to see your photo and it's just not as captivating. So that is one of the reasons why we use a four by five ratio. I'm gonna switch this over to pixels because this is just for Instagram and web uses pixels. So again, we do a four by five ratio, which is a 1080 by 1350. And then I'm gonna go down to resolution. So resolution is pretty much just like the quality of your image. Um, you don't need to go on 300 for Instagram. You can do 72 because it is for web and this is the web standard. Uh, next up is color mode. I'm going to switch this over to RGB again because it is just like a web standard um, setting. Lastly, we have our bits. I'm going to switch this to 8-bit. And just to explain it very quickly, bits is pretty much just like the amount of information that goes into your image. Um, so again, because we don't plan on printing this or we don't need a huge canvas, we can go with 8-bit and it'll still be you know, good quality, you'll still get, you know, decent amount of detail, but again, it's just for Instagram, so you don't need a canvas that is that big. Um, and that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can save this as a preset, so, you know, just in case you forget the exact numbers or the settings, just go ahead and click this little arrow right here, and you can just name it again. I'm gonna name that Instagram and then save preset. So next time you click on create new, instead it'll prompt you to the recent tab, but you just click over to the saved and your preset canvas here will be right here with all your saved settings and you just click create. And there is your Instagram canvas. So the next one I'm gonna go over is our print canvas. Okay, so this is the canvas that we use for all of our Life of AVAX images. And I'm gonna name this one print. And some things are gonna change here. Since we plan on printing, I'm gonna move over to inches because that is what you would need, um, you know, to have like a tangible photo. You would need it in inches. I'm gonna switch this to 16 for my width and 20 for my height. And my resolution, I'm gonna crank it up to 300 because in order to print like a high quality image like fine art or just like a really big canvas, the minimum that you need is 300. As far as color mode, that is also going to change to CMYK again, just because that is your standard uh, color mode for printing. And lastly, I'm gonna switch my 8-bit to 16-bit. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want all the information that I possibly can get onto my canvas so that I can have a better quality image, no details are lost, and it just produces a much better quality image overall when you're printing. Okay, so once you're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and set that as a preset. Name it print, and there I go and there's your print canvas. 
Okay, so really quickly, I'm just gonna go over one more canvas size that we used to use. Um, and I mean, it's still a really good canvas um, size. And let me just create that real quick. Okay, so this is like if you are looking to create an image that is still really good quality that you could still possibly print, but you're not worried about printing like fine art or like a huge canvas. Maybe you just wanna like print a quick, you know, um, photo of like your family member, your friend or whatnot. And you wanna just like print it on like your typical like frames um, to like hang in your house or whatever. Um, this works really well for that. We've, you, we actually used to use this a long time ago for our, um, for our images on Life of AVAX. Um, but now because we are printing, we've switched over to these higher um, settings. But this works really well. Um, it is very similar to the Instagram one. So I'll probably switch over to this one just to show you real quick. So very similar to this. The only thing that is going to change is your width. It's gonna go up to 4,000, oops, 4,000. And your height is gonna go to 5,000. So all I'm doing is just adding a lot more pixels just to have a bigger canvas. So this is a very happy medium. Um, you can you can do this for Instagram or you can do this like if you wanna print something, um, but just not really, really big. So I'll name this one print, small print. Let's name that one small print. Okay, quick note on why different uh, canvas sizes are really important is is because um, not only is it you know will it affect whether you can print your work or not um, or how it's displayed on the web but also if you are using a really big canvas like this print this print size is pretty big um, this canvas is like really big so what will happen is is that if you don't have enough uh, you know, RAM on your desktop or your laptop or and a graphics card, then what will happen is if you're trying to work with this kind of canvas here, it'll really bog down your uh, Photoshop. And yeah, it's just, it's not fun when you're working with you know, slow Photoshop. So that's something to also take note if you're going to be working with a bigger canvas like this because you want to print your work then you're definitely going to have to up the ram on your computer desktop and have a graphics card just so that it can handle the amount of information that you are putting onto this canvas um these smaller ones like again this the small print one like i said is a happy medium because you still get a much bigger canvas but it's not so big to where it bogs down your computer so that's just a side quick note um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I uh, set up my canvases. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. And thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys learned something new and I will see you guys later. Bye!